Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we are learning how to use a protractor. A protractor is a tool for measuring angles. Here you can see a protractor. It's got two scales. It goes from 0, 10, 20, 30, all the way up to 90 and then all the way to 180 on this side. Then on the inside it goes from 0, 10, 20, all the way to the other side at 180. There are two scales and we use each scale for different uh, uses. We use the outside scale when we're measuring an angle from the left side. We use the other scale when we're measuring an angle from the right side. This angle here is 30 degrees and it's an acute angle. This is a 70 degree angle, this is a 90 degree angle, this is a 100 degree angle, you can see it's going from 0 all the way around to 100 and we're measuring from the left side so we start on this 0 over here. Here is a 140 degree angle and if you go all the way this is a 180 degree angle, a straight line. Now we can measure over here as well and this time we're starting with one of the lines on this 0 line here. So we use the inside scale. So 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. So there are the numbers 40 and 140 here. We are measuring from the 0 here, so we use the inside scale and not the outside scale. So this is a 40 degree angle. This is a 110 degree angle, and that's an obtuse angle. Now this one here is a bit harder to read because it's uh, not on a 10. So we zoom in. We look really carefully and we see that it's 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. And then we get to here and it's 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. So each of the smaller dashes uh, indicate one degree. So you count the smaller dashes and that tells you uh, it's 40 and seven small dashes, 47 degrees. Be careful when you're measuring those small, counting those smaller dashes, they had to read. Now let's see this in action, so we're measuring these two angles and we're going to measure this angle and when we do this we need to make sure the bullseye of the protractor is directly over the angle. So you can see the bullseye is perfectly lined up with the tip of the angle and then we rotate, rotate the protractor so that it's on the zero line like that. Okay, and that's perfect. You have to be careful it doesn't look like this. The bullseye has to be over the point of the angle, not like this, it has to be the bullseye, and not like this, again the bullseye has to be directly over the angle. Okay, And we measure it, and it's, if you count, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and then another 5 false map, small dashes, it's 55 degrees. With this other angle, we've got the bullseye lined over, Rotate so the zero line is over the line, and you count, uh, you measure it, it is 121 degrees. Okay, over here. Now, uh, we can also use a protractor to draw accurate angles. So we're going to draw a 63 degree angle. So, first thing we do is we draw a line, then we take our protractor and put our protractor bullseye directly over the end of the line. And then we look for 63, and 63 is over here. So we count up from 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 3, and we put a dash here for 63. Then we take our ruler, and we draw a line from the absolute tip of this first line to our dash, and it's a perfect 63 degree angle. Now let's do that with again with 132 degrees. We draw a line, then we take a protractor, draw a dash at 132, again we're counting from 0 over here and round, so we're counting from this 0 line going round the outside scale to 132. And we do a line like that, and that is a perfect 132 degree angle. Okay. 
Now, if you like some practice with doing uh, measuring angles or drawing angles, then please just get a protractor, a ruler and a pencil and try to do the same activities as I've shown on this video. So you can draw some angles uh, accurately, 63 degrees and 132 degrees will be fantastic. Uh, and then you can measure them, and measure them the same way as we uh, did earlier and just to check they can do it right. I hope you enjoyed today's video from Advanced Maths. I tried to make using a protractor as simple as possible uh, so you can get as many marks as you can in exams. Please remember to like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching and good luck in your exams.